it's time for another lunar eclipse. I'm Robert Chuch with a three-minute photography photo tip. If you recall, back in April we had a wonderful eclipse of the moon called a lunar eclipse, and I managed to capture this fantastic sequence of the moon as it was nearly overhead. You can see as the uh, eclipse progressed, more and more of the moon was shaded until finally we ended up with this absolutely wonderful, gorgeous, brightly orange-colored moon with just a hint of sunlight hitting it there on the edge. Well, this week, Wednesday, October the 8th, we're going to have another eclipse, and this time it's going to be a lot lower on the horizon. So instead of nearly overhead, it is going to be much closer to the horizon which gives us an opportunity to do a different kind of photograph. Rather than just zooming in on the moon overhead with nothing in the background at all, we can use a slightly wider lens and get a fantastic shot, as you see here, of the moon just disappearing behind the mountains. We had a similar type of eclipse a few years ago, and I managed to capture this uh, multi-sequence shot of the moon over Palm Springs. This happened to be to the east, but a similar thing will happen this time to the west. So October 8th, 2014, uh, the eclipse will be visible from many locations except uh, Europe and Africa, so no luck there. But where I am in Southern California, we'll get a fantastic view, as well as in Australia and some other parts in the east. So my advice to get a good shot for this is to use a tripod and a cable release if you have one, or if not, just set your self-timer to two seconds. That's what I do. And then artfully arrange the foreground scenery. So in this case, uh, where I'm located in the Palm Springs area, we have a mountain nearby. So I'm going to use that in the foreground to get a great picture. And then you just need to make sure you get the exposure properly set. You cannot rely on the camera in automatic mode. It will not work. So set your camera to manual, and when the moon is eclipsed, figure on ISO 400 at about a one second exposure. And then during the full moon phase, it's going to be very bright, so ISO 100 at about a hundredth of a second, and a medium f-stop of about 5.6 in both cases. So I recommend uh, starting, uh, if you're in the U.S., starting when the moon is already eclipsed, and then taking a sequence of shots as it comes out of the eclipse toward the mountain, and or whatever you have in the distance and then you can composite those in Photoshop and make a fantastic uh, shot. And in my case, the sun will be coming up, so I may just get a hint of light on the uh, mountains and valley in the foreground. So that's my recommendation. Give it a try and see what kind of photos you can get. Also, if you've enjoyed this photography tip, don't forget to subscribe, and you'll be alerted every time a new video comes out.